hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you uh, the lab uh, to deploy the mcp server and add it to the microsoft copilot studio so so essentially in this uh, uh, lab i will use the the microsoft uh, github repository where um, they have uh, developed the the mcp server using the type script and then i will clone that repository using the template right and then i will deploy that uh, repository to the azure app and then i will connect create a uh, the power platform custom connector for that mcp uh, server and then i will add that connector or the mcp server as a action in the microsoft copilot studio and then finally i will test mcp server using the copilot studio and inspector tool so first let me go to the microsoft uh mcp and copilot studio lab and this is the this is the lab uh, which uh, microsoft created and essentially it has uh, all the details and this is the code which we will use uh, for the mcp server so essentially as a first step what we will do is we will create uh, our own uh, local repository right we will use this code and uh, clone into the um, uh, our own uh, repository so let me go ahead and click here uh, use this template and click on the create a new repository so, so essentially first we have to provide the name of the repository and i will give name mcp job and then uh, description is optional we don't need to provide and i will make this repository as a private uh, so that no one can see it and then once we hit the create repository it will copy all the the github uh, code into the my repository right and i have already done this so let me go to my repository so once you um, once it is cloned you will see the code like this right so all the code is copied here and essentially uh, the mcp server code is residing this inside this src folder so let me go here and this is the file uh, index.ts where we have the mcp server code and in this mcp server essentially first we have all the libraries we are importing all the libraries and this is for mcp server this is for sec server transport we are using the sec protocol and then this is the where we are defining the metadata of this mcp server so essentially we are using these four tools uh, as part of this mcp server and these are the individual methods or tools we are adding to this mcp server so this is first tool is for get chuck norris job tools and inside this we are making a call to this uh, api which will get the uh, the jokes for this tool and then we are defining another tool for categories then the third one we are defining here for the dead jokes and then finally mama jokes right so these are the four tool we have defined here and then rest of the code is just to configure this server right these are the different get and post method for this server so now the next step is we have to uh, deploy this uh, mcp server into the azure app right so let me go to azure app and this is the uh, app where we will deploy this right so first we have to create a azure uh, web app and these are the properties uh, or field we have to select and essentially these are the some of the important things so since this is the type script uh, uh, server like we are using the type script for this server so which will run on the node so we have to select the runtime stack as a node 22 lts and then operating system would be linux and then uh, we can select uh, whatever region we want and then i have selected the basic uh, plan here and then we don't need to select anything we can go ahead and click uh, create and this will take some time to create this app all right let's go ahead and click again create all right there are some problem here in the deployment i think i might have selected something wrong here but anyway i i have created this app already right so this is how this app will create it so now this uh, after once the app is created we have to 
deploy the github code to this uh, app right so we can go to this deployment center under the deployment center uh, since i already deployed so you you don't see the option here to connect the github but i will show you what are the option it will show here right so basically i since i have used the github here i connected github here so so i select initially i selected source as a github and then i uh, it prompted me to log into my github repository and then then i selected the organization my repository branch and all this stuff right so this is how it go to directly deploy it uh, from github to the uh, azure right so now since we know like how to deploy this uh, uh, app to the uh, Azure web app. Now let me go ahead and show you the uh, the MCP servers. When we click on this URL, so this is the, the domain of my MCP server. So let me go ahead and click here. And now you see here, this is running. Okay, this which, which is good. Now let me try the SCC endpoint and we can see this created the session id right for this session right so this mcp server is running right so now the next step is we have to create a uh, the custom connector right so we can go here and click on the create from the blank and i can give mcp server one okay so here in the so we we can directly go to uh, swagger editor and what we can do is in the lab there is a, a code which we can use here the swagger code and let me go to here and i think it is mentioned somewhere here let me go here scroll down all right okay so this is the file where the swagger code is available we can just go ahead and copy this code and then paste here the only thing we need to change here is the domain name so instead of uh, using this host name i will use the my own host name so this is the my host name okay let me copy again this is my host name um, okay so now our custom connector is ready right we can go ahead and save this create custom connector now the next step is we have to consume this custom connector or uh, custom connector mcp server in the copilot studio so i already created this chatbot here and let me go here so so essentially we will use uh, that custom connector as a action in the inside the copilot studio so let's go ahead and click on the actions and click add action and click on the custom connector and this is my custom connector right so this one i can go here okay it's taking time let me use the my existing one all right so it will first uh, create a connection and then it will show me the the name and description about this uh, uh, custom connector all right so it connected the created the connection and then we can provide uh, since i already added this so that's why it is showing this already exists right but just for this demo i'm just showing here what you have to do so you don't need to change the name you can keep the same name and then you can provide us some description here and then uh, depending on the how you want to use this uh, action right whether you want to run under the user authentication copilot or uh, author uh, author authentication so you can select it right and once you click add action 
it will add that uh, uh, connector as action here right and i already added this so let me just uh, don't save this so this is my connector i already added so now let me go ahead and uh, test this so let me go to uh, test console and i think we have to first thing we have to do is we have to uh, enable the generative ai to use the actions so let me uh, i have enabled it now all right so okay so this change got saved and now let me go ahead and uh, test this let me just ask uh, okay can i get a mama jokes and then uh, it will go to the uh, action then it will make a call to uh, the mcp server okay so there is a okay so let me try something else let me try i think okay so now it is responded right so it went to the mcp server and based on the my uh, uh, the query it invoked the uh, the specific tool and then it just returned this response right so that's uh, that's pretty simple so now let me show you one more thing here uh, so so essentially this mcp server right we can only add through the action right and i also tried using this through the like as a classic orchestration using the topic right but it doesn't work right uh, so that's why i was getting some errors so only way is to use this is through the action you cannot uh, direct since i thought this is a like a custom connector right i can use it but it doesn't show all the parameters right i cannot pass the my query here it just show only the session id right so i think internally copilot studio might be doing something to uh, make a seamless interaction with the uh, through the action to the mcp server right so let me show you the last thing here uh, uh, using this uh, testing this uh, mcp server using the inspector tool right so this is the uh, uh, inspector tool and we can go and see so i have provided the mcp server url let me go ahead and see click connect and then when i go here and see click on the list tools it will show you all the tools so these are the tools supported by this uh, mcp server and i can go ahead and click here and then it return the response right so this is how we can test with the mcp inspector tool uh, i hope you will like this video thanks for watching